It looks like Little People Big World star Story and Zach Roloff's relationship with Matt Roloff's girlfriend Karen Chandler is getting worse. If you aren't caught up on the ever-dramatic family dynamics, Chandler and family patriarch Matt announced their relationship in March 2017 after he split from his wife Amy Roloff. Things have been up and down ever since. Not only did Amy feel caught off guard and even betrayed by the romance, Chandler was a longtime employee of Roloff Farms, but some fans and family members think Chandler is overstepping her boundaries with the farm, which Matt put up for sale in July. Unfortunately, the decision to sell the farm instead of passing it down led to the positive relationship between Tori, Zack, Matt and Chandler deteriorating in season 23. Now viewers are eager to know what might happen moving forward. In a preview of season 24 obtained by Nikki Swift News, the tensions are still seriously high for the Roloff family. Tori and Zack even go as far as to set some serious boundaries, deciding they don't want Chandler to meet their youngest son Josiah Roloff, born in May. So what's their reasoning? Tori and Zack want nothing to do with Karen. Though much of Little People Big World revolves around the Roloff family's farm, Tori and Zack appear to be conflicted about their future involvement in the farm in season 24. But of course, there's also plenty of back and forth. Everyone's met Josiah, but we don't have plans for Karen to meet Josiah, Zack reveals in one voiceover. Like, they still think they did nothing wrong. Matt, who has met Josiah, then explains the situation in his own words, appearing to blame his son and daughter-in-law. Zack and Tori have isolated themselves, you know, from Cha-Cha and me, he says, referring to girlfriend Karen Chandler by her nickname. Chandler expresses, This whole thing has been painful. The fact that it's still going on is heartbreaking. Karen tells people that she's waiting for our olive branch, and that olive branch? The dove took it to another island, I don't know. Viewers will have to wait until November 1st to find out just how bad the feud is, but things seem pretty dire as it stands. But of course, we can't say we're too surprised considering in a March episode, Zack vented about how Chandler's involvement in the farm deal seemingly played a role in Matt's decision to sell the farm to an outside buyer, claiming she would dictate what he couldn't or could do in the negotiations. Thank you for watching, my dudes. Subscribe not to miss anything.